Welcome back to more Spirit Caller, everybody. Okay, so I'm level 12 now. I reached level 12. In between episodes, I grinded up until I reached level 12, and look at that. Also, Adhesive Explosive is already level 3. I don't know. Did I tell you all that? I'm pretty sure. I, I don't even remember, but yeah, level 3, look at that. Pretty awesome, right? Cool. Anyway, there's one little 20 second thing that I miss capturing on screen. Let me just explain to you all. As I was grinding, Tyranno Hassleberry actually came in, and this, this happened when I reached level 12, actually. So I'm pretty sure that this is because, like, so the, the quest starts at level 11, the Hassleberry quest. And I'm assuming that when you reach level 12, the second of four duels um, becomes available to you. So that's what happened. Sorry, I'm drinking a little bit of water here. <clears throat> My throat. Um, so he came to the dorm this time. And he was just like, basically wanting to duel, and I, and I said yes, I was going to refuse that, of course, I don't know what happens if you refuse it. So he said, cool, I'll meet you outside. And yeah, we're going to catch Faye outside, so we're going to do that. I missed that scene because I actually, it was like 11pm last night, like in real life, not in the game. And I was just grinding, I was like, dude, I can't record a freaking video right now, like everyone else is sleeping in my house. Right? I'm not going to wake them up with this, so I en ended up just... Skipping that 20 second cutscene, saving, turning off the DS, and now it's the next day. Sorry about that, people. I mean, it was a little short cutscene, but basically, I reached level 12, and eventually, one night, Hasselberry's gonna come to your house and be like, hey, let's duel. Yeah, so. Duel me. So, once again, with the Hasselberry quest, you have to duel this guy four times because each one actually is a different phase in the quest. I will be showing off all four duels because that is technically a part of the quest. Um, it's not like just completely random optional grinding, it's not. Alright, so I made a minor edit to my deck. I put Blast Sphere because it's basically an improved version of Adhesive Explosive. By this point, there's no need for me to go ahead and use Adhesive Explosive because that thing is basically a much shittier version than Blast Sphere. Blast Sphere has better stats than um, Adhesive Explosive. And also, the effect is better because it also does damage to the opponent when it's attacked face down in defense position. So, yeah, just saying, okay, what, what did I just summon? Or, some, sorry, destroy? I don't know why I said Oh, false excavation, okay. Point to attack, please don't be a black stego. Oh, my fucking god. How did I, how did I call that, people? Did I really just call that? I'm a freaking genius. I gotta do fissure, I'm not in the mood to let you do some tribute summons right now. Screw that garbage. I know what you're gonna do. I know dinosaurs. I know 2007 dinosaurs decks. They're all about tribute summoning. Okay, see? You're using tokens to tribute summon, but luckily for me, you can't summon monsters on the same turn you use that. Alright, here we go. Let's blow up your tokens before you tribute them. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh, thank god. I thought you were gonna have a freaking stalling trap. If, if that was the case, I'm like, it's over. It's freaking over. Okay, so there's no need to use swords or revealing light yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. Gilosaurus. Big evolution pill. Oh my gosh. Well, this is not good. What the fuck? Did you really just do that? Freaking dinosaurs. I mean, he is out of a hand, so if I can draw like another fissure, that would be great. I didn't. Okay, Rush Recklessly is not going to be enough this time. I'm actually going to set this. Oh man, this is so bad. I really want you to attack Blast Fear. But fuck, dude. Like. Oh no. The thing is, dude, you're not gonna attack Blasphere, are you? Okay, I, I I can't risk this. I can't risk it. I'm doing swords right now. I'm doing freaking swords. Okay, that big evolution pill needs to leave. I'm just saying. End phase? Okay, thank god. I gotta kill some time here, you know? Oh yes, the man-eater bug. The, dr the dreadful man-eater bug is coming through. Oh my god. Alright, just please don't destroy me. Oh my god. No. That's fine. You better not have a stupid negate. 
If this guy has a Divine Wrath, I swear to God. Oh my god. Oh my god, he also has a card in the hand to discard. Oh shoot. Alright, let's flip Maneater Bug. Will this work? It did work, okay. What the freaking hell is this? Seismic Shockwave. Activate only, destroy, okay, select three, and then they cannot be used. During your third standby phase, then you can return with dinosaur to Oh shit, okay. Um, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna summon Boris Raider, and then just swing for some attacks in here, I suppose. I'm gonna keep Blast in defense mode, because why the hell not? I mean, it loses its viability of an effect once you flip it face up. But, yeah. That's cool. Alright, so now I got Vorse Raider coming through. Alright, Man Eater Bug, let's do this. 450. Oh yeah, massive 450. I could have done a lot more damage this turn. I could have done 1400 more with Blast here and then 700 more with Rush Recklessly for 2100 more. That would have put you down to less than 2000 life points. But it's fine. Oh man, this might be over. There we go. Fissure. Yes! I top deck something amazing, people. I top deck the Fissure. Are you serious? Oh my god. Also, he just discarded a Superconductor Tyranno to special summon a Superconductor Tyranno. Are you kidding me? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so... I got I got some good cards in that as Duel Man. I really got some good cards in that one. As you can see, though, my deck is increasing in value slowly but surely. It's getting better. Slightly stronger here and there. Yes, as you can see, it's not over. He's increasing his life points. Wait. Okay, I'm not doing this yet. Hold on. How many life points are you getting, dude? Oh my freaking god. Did you really just get that many life points? Okay. Okay, fine. Um, you know what? Yeah, just attack. Attack with Nightmare Bug. Do some more damage. I know it's kind of pointless to do this, another extra 450, but... Yeah, also, I think this guy literally got rid of every single dinosaur in the graveyard that Seismic Shockwave is not even going to get him a monster. Oh wait, it's still one turn away though. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I lost 1150, and that should be game right there, unless you have another- oh my god, you still have another face down, don't you? What are you planning? I'm not even going to summon, I don't want to risk this crap. Attack. Do it. Okay. And... That seems to have worked. Yes! I win, Tyranno Hasselberry. Alright, so reaching level 12 not, on not only unlocks the second duel against Hasselberry, but it also progresses the story a little bit. Because now we're able to do something else, which is the next scene, next events of the game. Nice, Shiny, you did it. Bastion? Me? I don't recall seeing you in raw yellow before. Oh my god, he's just... what the... okay, that's suspicious. That's real suspicious. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Sorry, I gotta adjust my microphone here, man. Oh, man. Alright. Time to go to the dorm. That makes sense. That's fine. Let's go ahead and save. Let's save the game. Then we're gonna go ahead and sleep as well. Okay, so what day is it tomorrow? I mean, it's a weekday, but I'm pretty sure it's like... I don't even know, actually. After class. Okay, a cussing still didn't trigger. Like... Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I legitimately don't know, you know? New pack. Okay, okay. I like this. What I get? Eternal Mentor? What the fuck is Eternal Mentor? Hold on, hold on. I really have to see this. I'm gonna pull up my 
my list of packs and see if I can actually find this. Okay, so here it says, let me read it to you all. Eternal Mentor, you must be level 12. Really? Okay. Hmm. I guess it doesn't hurt, right, to buy it. So if I buy one from here, and then buy them all except one, and then come over here. Yeah, people were telling me once again, I, I already explained all this, but like people were saying that it's actually not a bad thing to do this exchange gravity bind. Made in the Viaqua with the gravity bind, wing cribble level 10. Gearfried is not bad, I suppose. Dimension Fusion, that card is freaking broken. There's a Trap Jammer, Stone Statue of the Aztecs, Dark Magician Girl is there. Kinetic Soldier. Okay, that's about it for that right there. Hmm. But it seems like that was actually it. Oh, I'll buy one more, sure. Okay, that was pointless. Okay, so what percentage am I at? 94. 83, 100... 180, 96. Yeah, people were highly suggesting for me to just go ahead and do this, you know? Like, to buy out packs and stuff, which... I mean, to me, it makes sense. Last Will, Catapult Turtle, Wabaku. Dark Magician, another Happy Storm, Wabaku. Another Mirror Force. Another Mirror Force. That's a lot of Mirror Forces. 147, that 96, and yeah, look at that. Look at that. That one's only at 25, but it's so... Man. Alright, so this one is next. I believe I can just... No, 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 don't buy that one. Buy, um... Buy this one. Do that. Then come over here. Okay. Got some more Exodia pieces. Great Moth, Fissure, another Exodia piece. That, that, that. Let's see. Magical Arm Shield, Negate Attack. Guy the Fierce Knight tribute to do a malevolent nuzzler and a gate attack again. It seems like that's it. 96% once again. Because I'm really high with all of these booster packs in terms of percentage. Alright, so I get a card list for Powerful Seal, as well as Shadow Magicians, and Eternal Mentor. Please be a cutscene, I fucking swear to god. Okay, it's not triggering. People, I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. Okay, so I've made it all the way until Sunday. Still no luck at all. I don't know what is happening. The cutscene that apparently have to be level 12 in is not triggering. And I've already waited until Monday once. I can wait until tomorrow again to see the next Monday. But the ship is here, as you can see. So at least there's that bit of good news. But man, the past, I don't even know how I'm going to edit this video, but that's like every video in this freaking series, because this game is not very, like, it's one of these games where, like, you can't just, I can't just be like, alright, I'm going to sit and record for 30 minutes. No, it's going to be like an hour to make a 30 minute video. Like, it's kind of bad, you know, for the sake of let's playing when that happens, because, like, I don't have time, I don't know if I can keep up with this series to do bi-weekly or, or sorry, bi-weekly, bi-daily. Or, you know, even, I don't know. War Against Dragons and Summoning Thunder? Okay, well, War Against Dra Okay, let me bring this up here. War Against Dragons... Got it. Okay, that one has Exile Force. Summoning Thunder has a lot of really good stuff in it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, I'm gonna do... Let's get War Against Dragons, and let's go ahead and buy all... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be that one duelist that's super greedy and just buys everything, you know? <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so here's a Magician of Faith. Okay, that's a good start right there. Okay, Robber. Summon Skull. Not bad, not bad. Call of the Haunted. Hell yeah. La Jin. Another La Jin. Another Call of the Haunted. Shadow Spells. Not bad. Dust Tornado's not bad. Another Call of the Haunted. Legend, Shadow Spell, and that's it. Um, so I didn't get Torrential Tribute, sadly. I just realized that. 
That one's a super and I didn't get it. Are, are you serious? How did I get like three Call of the Haunts, but that's an ultra rare? Like that's freaking ridiculous, you know? Oh well, I'm not gonna reset. Okay, I got one more try, one more try. Shit. Well, that's, that's shitty. Okay, I'm gonna buy... Let's buy this one because I'm super low with that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do all of these, minus one, and do that. Let's see what I get. Guardian Sphinx, that, okay, Spear Dragon, okay. Pyramid Turtle, that's great for zombies. Cyber Harpy. Hmm. A lot of Dark Scorpions. Book of Moon? Exile Force, yes, I could use that one. Okay, not bad, not bad. I just decided to buy one more. Why not? Alright, so that's it for that one. Um, everything else here is at least at 90 something. Uh, I'll just keep I'll just keep buying this stuff, right? Here we go. Fairy box. Lightning shield. Metal Zoe. Penguin soldier. That's not bad. 94, 130, okay, so 38% with that one. This one is only at, oh man, that's that's actually so little. Let's see what I can get that's new. My body has a shield, mechanical chaser, another mechanical chaser. Okay. So I'm still looking for another Vorse Raider, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, Vorse Raider is, what do you get Vorse Raider again? I'm trying to find it in my, oh, Machines Unleashed. Which was actually this one, okay. But I don't think I got anything else, that's fine. So now the last one is going to be that one, let's do that. Let's see what I get. Cannon Soldier, the warrior turning alive. Okay, Book of Teo. Not bad, not bad, okay, we got a Nightmare Wheel there. All these packs are now at least at over 90% except except this one. So that's good. That's some good progress. Okay. Yeah, it's a, kind of a shame that I didn't get my turns with Tribute, but... I suppose that's fine. I got some more Cardless, yes. Three packs. Sounds good. Uh, one more thing I want to see is, does the reference room have a few different things now? Because if it does, I might want to do this. New tutorial. Oh, new puzzles. Hell yeah. My right, so beginner is done. It's been done. Intermediate. Oh man, there's actually a lot. Home of the Fiends. Home of the Fiends. Okay. Alright, so this one here, uh, let's just see how this goes, alright? So, I got a Lajan on the field. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and tribute some uh, for Zanki. Yes, I'm literally downgrading. And I'm gonna go ahead and do Bright Geki Break. Let's discard this to destroy one of your Dark Geroids. Back to square one. I'm going to discard Knight Assailant. Okay. Next up is Monster Reincarnation. I'm going to go ahead and discard that. So I have four targets here. I'm going to go ahead and choose Dark Necrofear. I'm going to go ahead and Special Summon Dark Necrofear. So I actually have to banish all three cards. To be able to special summon you. Oh, look at that, you get an animation. Sweet. Alright, enter battle phase, and that's gonna be game right there. Oh, my bad, sorry, I thought I was. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. I, I thought I'd press A again. No, I did not. I suppose that's fine. Alright, so that's another one down, another dual puzzle. I'm gonna have to do some massive grinding off screen, man. Like, 
I don't know. Next up is Steel Stronghold. Alright. Let's see here. This very first one I'm gonna do is... This is called Mist Body, not Misto Body. What the hell is that shit? Oh my god. Alright, let's go ahead and do uh, Twin Swords of Flashing Light. Let's get you. I'm gonna target my Relinquished. Next up is I'm gonna activate your effect to take one of these Cyber Dragons. Alright, shrink, here we go. Shrink, okay. oh my god, that thing has... What the freaking hell? No, I want to target my own. There's a good reason why. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do Axe of Despair. I'm going to target Ancient Gear Golem. Enter battle phase. Gonna go ahead and swing into Ancient Gear Golem with my Relinquished. And watch this. 4,000. You know what happens here? Then you take 4,000. And then I can attack again because of Trice. And I'll take another 4,000 and you take another 4,000. And that's game. That is it. That's an interesting one, it's very creative, you know, they're trying to fool you thinking that you actually have to get rid of all your opponent's monsters, but no you don't, not in that one, that's for sure. Okay, next up is Release the Seal. Let's do this. I'm gonna start my Geki Break for this one. I'm going to discard my Fusilor Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast, to destroy. So we have Royal Command, and oh my god, I'm going to go ahead and destroy Royal Command. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip on my Penguin Soldier. So I have, okay, I'm going to do that, plus... They're both an attack bus, so it doesn't really matter which piece. There's Exodia. Flip on Magician of Faith. Okay. Next up is I'm gonna go ahead and use Soul Release here. Okay, so what I wanna do Okay, because I wanna make sure I do this right. If I remove that one. And I come over here, okay, so I have 4,200 life points. Now I can go ahead and bring out Fusler Dragon and you, because they're both banished, and I can put them both in attack mode. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and do Enter Battle Phase here. So from what I remember, I know that you actually have to attack that with my with my own piece. Oh my god, it's basically Exodia piece versus Exodia piece. So we're gonna kill each other. And now this should be enough damage. That's 1,750. Um, Addition of Faith is 300, and then Fusler Dragon is 2,800. And that's it. Okay, uh, warm up is the next one. Alright, so for warm up, what I'm gonna start by doing is going ahead and oh my god, seriously, I'm gonna normal summon a Fusilor Dragon the Dual Mode Beast. Then I'm gonna come over here and do Emperor's Holiday. Look at that, so this thing says negate the effects of all equipped cards. 
Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and use Creature Swap. I'm gonna choose my Berserk Gorilla here. So now we're gonna go ahead and swap. Next up is Skill Drain. Sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and enter Battle Face here. And I will attack with you to that. There we go. Wait, actually, I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Oh, whoops. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. no. Wait, is, is that right? I'm pretty sure I... Oh, fuck me, dude. Wait, 28 plus that... I think I did something wrong. I'm pretty sure. 28, 19, 2000. Okay, so that's it for that one. No, I'm pretty sure I did this wrong because what you have to do here I'm gonna get rid of that. No, but that's still... What the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I think I just realized what I have to do. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I, 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 be I believe I have to redo this. Okay, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Hold on here. Because I, I forgot to activate bl block attack, I'm pretty sure. That has to be activated somewhere there in between. But it's a little bit of a tough one to know that whole battle position changing mechanic on there. So I'm going to try this one again. Pretty sure I can do this now because I just, I mean, yeah. I feel comfortable now. Alright, so let's try this again. Alright, so you're going to get both. So if I summon the Fuseler Dragon to Dual Mode Beast, then use the Emperor's Holiday, I get both back. Then I'm going to go ahead and do Creature Swap. I'm going to give you a Berserk Gorilla. So now we swap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, there we go. Okay, I just heard it out. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to do that to destroy it right away. That way you do an extra however much damage. Black Pendant? Uh, no. Okay. Next up is Skill Drain. You do that so you can actually do more damage with Fusilor Dragon because that puts you at 2800 now. So that's 28, 28, that's 5600, plus 19, then that's plus 39 there too. Okay. So now you should actually be left with 500 light points at the end of this battle phase here. If I did this correct. Which I believe I did do correct. I'm just, yeah, there we go. Minus 2000. Okay. And then lastly. If I go ahead and do main phase 2, and do this, this is going to destroy Berserk Gorilla, which also destroys the Black Pendant. Wait. Oh. That's right. Gotta destroy that. And now it goes. Sweet. There we go. You can take 500, and that's it. Sounds good. Okay, that was a little bit of a tough one there, I'm not going to lie. That was a little bit ridiculous. That's plus 300 points. Cool. Moving on to the next one. Unexpected outcome. Okay. So this one here, I'm going to go ahead and start by special summoning Lava Golem. By getting rid of both of those. I guess I'll just put you in attack mode, sure. It doesn't really matter, because what I'm going to do is destroy it right away. Now I'm going to go ahead and do Tribute to the Doomed. Discard you, destroy that. Now I'm going to Special Summon Gigantes. There we go. Next up is Return from a Different, different Dimension. Bring Gear Freed in there. Remember that you cannot normal summon or set to turn you um 
bring out Lava Golem, which is why you can't rely on that. You have to rely on special summons, which I did do. And that's it. Perfect. That was a lot easier. Like, much easier. Okay, so I believe I have only one left, right? I think it's called Smash Open the Gate. Pretty sure that's the case. Okay. Smash Open the Gate. Yep, there we go. Alright, so for this one here, um, I'm going to go ahead and do Book of Moon on the Jinzo. Then I'm going to go ahead and Normal Summon Servant of Catabolism. And let's go ahead and swing for 700... Um, uh, yes, I will do that. This one's actually really easy. In my opinion, despite it looking like it's freaking crazy, it's actually not. All you have to do is disable the Jinzo. Now I have this. I can go ahead and do this and destroy my own servant of catabolism. We both take 700 and that's it. Because I survive. Okay. Cool. And that, I believe, is it for everything right now. There are still more intermediate puzzles, but that'll be for later. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go back now. Oh. Man-eater bug. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, but that was a long time ago. Alright, so the very last thing I will do is go into deck construction and basically make some edits into my deck. Um, let's go ahead and do... Whoops. Oh my god, I totally forgot what I was actually going to put in my deck. Like, seriously, I did forget. Um, what I'm going to do, let me let me pull, pull up my list again here of stuff that I was getting. So, because there's actually a bunch of interesting stuff that I just got. As far as beat sticks go, I don't really need any more. I mean, I can put Mechanical Chaser in there, sure. Let's do that. I also have Summon Skull, but... That thing technically has better stats, right, though. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Voice Raider, Gemini Elf, no, nothing there. There is a Mechanical Chaser. I can definitely add that one in there. So that replaces a seven-colored fish. Uh, and I also have a Magician of Fate and an Exile Force. I can, I can put both of those in there. And the Call of a Haunted. So if I go down to here... Exile Force is actually semi-limited. Magician of Faith, though is limited and there's call of the haunted there's also book of moon there that i just saw that might be pretty useful um okay where's call of the haunted that ceasefire right over here okay so um that means i'm gonna get rid of blaster now actually i don't need that technically speaking i don't really need dd warrior either but i also don't really need another man eater bug right do i what i need another man eater bug i actually don't freaking know I'm gonna get rid of DD Warrior because why the hell not? And then for traps, I mean, I think it's time to get rid of the Axe of Despair. Actually, maybe Rush Recklessly. Let's get rid of Rush Recklessly. The next card that's gonna go is gonna be Axe of Despair, though, and eventually share the pain. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.